to go to college? It's expensive. A year at Harvard now costs more than $50,000. State schools often cost $30,000. The politicians in there say, we can make college affordable for everyone. But no, they can't. They've tried. Federal spending on college aid has doubled, then doubled again. But as government aid grew, so did tuition. Over the past 30 years, inflation was 160%. We're upset that health care costs grew more, 400 percent. But college tuition rose 750 percent. The first thing you're struck by is our jungle lobby. Banyan trees and all of the trappings of a jungle retreat. One place your money goes is to luxuries that entice students and their money. This is the rec center at the University of Missouri. From there, you'll find yourself in the jungle gym, complete with the torches to welcome you into our cardio gallery, not to be outdone by Tiger Lair. Tiger Lair is our spinning uh, studio, and it is outstanding, especially with its mural work done by that international artist, Lampo. And then Zoo Life, which is our in-house day spa. It's no surprise that tuition's high. And we just keep feeding the problem. I mean, Naomi Riley wrote a book about how colleges waste money. However colleges decide to hike their prices, the federal government says, okay, we'll contribute a little bit more. Today, almost half of college students get federal aid. We've got to make sure that education is affordable and available to everybody who wants to go. People are looking to the government to help them out of this mess, but the government got them into this mess. Because the government pays for everything. Yeah, yeah. The cost of colleges is not, it's not just this, this number that comes out of thin air. Colleges know that they can keep increasing the cost because the government says we will keep paying for it. So if the government said, you know, we are not going to keep making up the difference no matter what you add to your costs, the cost would start to stop or they would start to go down. But progressives say government should spend more. There's no evidence that, that college loans or any type of student aid increases tuition at public universities. Oh, come on. If you give people money, tuition goes up. It doesn't, actually. And Tamara Drought works for Demos, a think tank that President Obama helped found. Colleges have been forced to really cut to the bone. If you look at what has happened after cut this recession, absolutely, state funding has been steadily and pretty aggressively cut. What do you mean cut? It's gone up from $55 billion to almost $80 billion. Up isn't a cut. It has gone up in absolute terms because there are a lot more students that are being educated. But so there of aren't course that many we're more spending students. more. Do you liberals live but in a fantasy land? There are a lot more students, John. But if you not look enough at to make up with the all the per, money you're throwing at per them. student amount of financial aid, particularly today, students get an average twelve thousand dollars in federal and state aid, up from seven thousand in 1987. Good morning, Mr. Vice President. At least Vice President Biden understands that subsidies raise prices. How do you feel about the idea that uh, government subsidies, by artificially increasing the availab uh, availability of student loans, is at least partially responsible for rising tuition costs? Government subsidies have impacted upon rising tuition costs, and it's a conundrum here. It sure is. Colleges now advertise lobster dinners and expensive dorms with luxury pools. Pools and spas and fancy gym facilities and sushi for lunch. Isn't that where you'd like to take your next vacation? No, yes. Have every college you go to and you say, well, why do you spend so much money on this? And they say, well, we have to compete with the college down the street. A terrific climbing tower, 42 feet, with a variety of lights on it so we can simulate different times of the day. So the administrator says, good, I'll build a new rock wall. I would love to know where all of these rock walls are. Okay, I'll show you. More than 600 colleges now have rock walls. What's important to any leisure resort and what's important to any red-blooded American college student? Spring break. Give our Tigers spring break every time they step in to the student recreation complex. When you go on a tour here, they definitely throw that in your face. And by one day, it's completely awesome. Students will come to us and say, this is what sealed the deal. It used to be reading, writing, and arithmetic. And well, we're now the fourth R, recreation. Pretty much every parent that I have on my tour is pretty much like, I want to be back in school, or how do I get back to going to school? We are putting colleges on notice. Now even progressives are upset about the rising cost of college. We can't just keep on subsidizing skyrocketing tuition. But in that exact same speech, the president also said, My administration 
is increasing federal student aid so more students can afford college. Don't politicians see the irony? No. 